Good afternoon, Bedoons. Um, this is Dr. Susie, and I'm coming to you from Melbourne in Australia. Uh, I just want to talk to you today about the invitation for you to participate either in person or online at the seminar that is being held um, today. Uh, it is organized as a political seminar. However, this is the first seminar that Badoons have actually been invited to, given an open invitation to, uh, as you may see on the Twitter feed. So this is an important event. The reason why it's an important event is because in the past you have been called uh, only to protest and the um, organisers of the movement have chosen to engage closely with elite citizens um, from key families in Kuwait and or from intellectual families in Kuwait so that um, in an attempt to increase their influence over the citizen population. However, this has gone on for quite some time um, and the movement appears to now be a little bit locked in um, the same cycle that has, has happened before and uh, needs to engage back with the grassroots. Um, and I thank organizers and wait for their acknowledgement um, of the use of those strategies after speaking with me uh, quite some weeks ago. Um, we want to make sure that all, in, all Badoons feel included at all times in communications coming from the movement um, and that you feel assured that the social movement will continue to stand up for all Badoon rights and will continue to support all Badoons, 120,000 or more in Kuwait and globally to acquire citizenship, rights of return and compensation. It's really important right now that um, the whole community is included. We know that um, threats from Ganem, uh, Al Ganem, the parliamentary speaker, have involved an upcoming radical solution. It is possible that the community will be split by a grant of citizenship to more than 30,000, um, those of the northern tribes that have military and police service backgrounds. And we want to make sure that the other Benoons who aren't able to substantiate um, <clears throat> service in military or police and all the ones who do not have sufficient documentary evidence of inclusion in the 1970, 1965 census, sorry, uh, we want to make sure that you remain strong and knowing that there are social activists and intellectuals out there who will continue to fight for you, in particular myself and Mohammed Alanisi in London, um, as we continue to provide ongoing information to the movement in Kuwait uh, uh, that involves case building, okay, and also involves um, attempts to ensure that the global Badoon community's rights are respected and restored by the state of Kuwait. Overnight, there has been some important um, information coming out um, from me after I spoke to Mohammed Alanisi in London, who is always a great support to me. And um, I actually just stumbled across some information by John Pilger regarding um, UK foreign policy in the 1960s and information about the way that other populations were treated according to policy that is related to the theft of identity. There are a lot of key points of, of um, that foreign policy information which mirror very accurately what has happened to you in Kuwait with regard to the theft of your identity by the state and enforced statelessness. So um, be assured that the case is continually developing um, and we look to organisers in Kuwait, human rights activists located in Kuwait, to continue to keep those 
communications channels open to everybody so that everybody in the community can benefit from the flourishing of intellectual knowledge that's been happening since the Arab Spring um, as the community engages in the case. Okay, really important to know and to see that the community is being invited to social and cultural events. You will be provided with information today, I am sure, that goes well beyond what is discussed on Twitter because there will be substantive intellectual information offered to you in the speeches that will not be just the, the you know, restricted to the short times that we can speak together on Twitter. Um, and if you want to keep up with substantial intellectual content as the case develops, please stay in touch with Mohammed Alanizi in London with the Kuwait Badoon movement and also stay in touch with my um, tweets regarding my academia account where you will find substantial case building there. Um, I hope that you enjoy today. Please attend either in person or online and if you do attend online please make sure that you let your um, the community know that you are doing that um, and if you are attending in person let the let the broader community know that you did that um, and I hope that you were treated very well by the organizers as well as the other um, people who are involved in citizen political movements there um, and that you will feel supported by them and included by them in today's talks. And I hope that you enjoy listening to some more in-depth content than you've been able to um, experience in the past. And, um, and this should be a, a strategy that continues to be used to engage you in the case. Um, and I hope that you can trust that organisers in Kuwait and globally in the Badoon social movement uh, will we'll do every effort possible, will commit to every effort possible um, towards ensuring that all Badoons receive the grant of Kuwaiti citizenship and that no one is left behind in the global Badoon community. That includes citizenship for the global Badoon community, rights of return for those who are trapped outside Kuwait, either as refugees or asylum seekers who can't even get refugee status, um, and that compensation is awarded. We will pursue compensation um, to the best of our ability possible, being for your ongoing suffering, um, and in particular violent ethnic cleansing in the 1990s where you lost half your population and where the UN Compensation Commission was set up to um, drain Iraq, the state of Iraq of over $52 billion, which was then awarded to citizens and businesses. Um, and there was not an equitable or fair award to the Badoons who were a large percentage of your population trapped inside the country at that time as compared to Kuwaiti citizens. So be assured that we will continue to support you and I hope that you enjoy the seminar today and the new approach that is being taken in the, in the social movement at the moment to develop inclusive policies for everybody. Um, and I hope that that is going to um, include a little bit more engagement with me and the recognition of my work from those organisers um, given that my work is now being used by them and by uh, Badoons as social activists and citizen activists as well. So I hope you really enjoy your experience today and don't forget to provide your feedback back to the community about how you go.